an announcement from Lugansk City Council in eastern Ukraine. It says the regional capital that's under siege by Kiev's troops is in a state of humanitarian crisis. They are running out of food and people are forced to live without electricity, water or gas. Internet and phone connections are also cut off. Now, correspondent Maria Finoshna is in Lugansk for us. She says it's barely recognizable. Lugansk is a shadow of its former self. It was once a flourishing regional center with a population of half a million. Today, it is largely abandoned and dangerous, destroyed schools and hospitals, silent reminders of an ongoing conflict. This is the hotel in the center of Lugansk where we used to stay just two weeks ago. There were guests here, mostly journalists, but also Ukrainians running from violence uh, in the towns of Kramatorsk and Slavyansk. They used to be two major epicenters of the large-scale military operation here in eastern Ukraine. There was also a Chinese restaurant uh, on the seventh floor, but now, as you can see, the hotel has been shut down. This sign says, uh, hotel is closed. The further we go from the center, the greater the destruction. Olga's house was damaged when a shell exploded in her garden. Instead of the flowers she planted there, it is now a deep crater. Like other locals here who haven't already fled the fighting, Olga has taken shelter in a basement. Many of those sheltering underground are sick and desperate. As we are speaking, the electricity drops out. Blackouts are a constant problem here. The lines were apparently repaired just before we arrived. There is a shelter under almost every apartment building in Lugansk, and they are rarely empty. This is another basement that has recently become home to local residents. And it's not that they hide here at the time of the intense shelling and bombardment. You can see they literally leave here. Every family has its own place here, like an apartment building, but underground. In one of the corridors, we meet Artem. The youngest resident we've seen here so far, he shares many of the fears of the older people here. At 9 p.m. every day, people in different basements recite the same prayer. They ask for God to protect them and bring them peace. But as the shelling continues around them, the furthest they dare to plan ahead is tomorrow, when they say they will meet here again. Marif Noshinati, Lugansk, Ukraine.